You are a senior advisor to um, the uh, Human Rights First, which is a uh, nonprofit, um, nonpartisan international human uh, rights organization. Could you tell us, please, a little bit about this organization, your job there, and why you've decided to uh, spend your uh, your free time working with this organization? So, um, thanks for that. Uh, yeah, I'm 65 now, and um, I, I enjoyed the four and a half years I was at SEPA, the Center of European Policy Analysis, where I started right after I retired. Um, I live in Frankfurt, but I was working for SEPA, which is based in D.C., and it had a focus on, a very specific focus on Eastern Europe and the Black Sea region, which I love. But after four and a half years, that was time I needed to broaden my horizons a little bit, frankly. And I wanted to do some things that were not just security related. And I wanted to, even at the ripe old age of 65, get in to uh, get outside my comfort zone. And so I had a friend who was on the board at uh, Human Rights First. And he said, hey, we could uh, create a position for you as senior advisor where, to be candid, I don't look. Uh, or my profile is not typical for human rights organizations. Yeah, yeah. I've had a lot of people say, you're in human rights first? I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I spent 40 years protecting human rights. But, I, I, I mean, I get it. And um, there's three strands of work there that um, I do at HRF that uh, I find fascinating and important, and they have stretched me personally and professionally. Number one is... Um, I, uh, I, you know, I took an oath to the Constitution uh, over and over and over and over throughout my career since I became a cadet back in 1976. And uh, so I, I believe in everything that's in that Constitution to include voting. And so I got concerned about uh, any restrictions on voting or attempts to restrict uh, access to voting. So I've taken an interest in, in working on that. The second thing is... Uh, countering extremism and you know when i uh it, it's very uncomfortable but we have more of an extremist prob problem in the military than i thought we did or that i wanted to admit and so i think this is something that um needs to be addressed and and it turns out that um, extremist organizations tend to go after soldiers or sailors or marines um, shortly after they get out, whether they're first or one or two term guys or career guys. And so trying to counter that. And then the third thing is um, accountability. That's why I'm writing this op-ed about uh, supporting the ICC, encouraging the Secretary of Defense to support the ICC and collecting forensic evidence uh, for these uh, for, for, of these war crimes. I think accountability uh, is an important part of defending the international rules-based order. And, and of course, for the United States, if we don't live up to our own talking points, then I think our credibility is also um, at stake.